have been augmented, augmented is a common and annoying complaint that we get from patients that typically uh, present years after they've, they've had a breast augmentation. The reasons why implants ripple and breasts have the ripple effect um, is multifactorial. Women that have ceiling implants, ceiling implants are more likely to ripple. Softer silicone implants are somewhat likely to ripple. And with time, as a woman, when a woman has had a breast implant for many, many years, the breast tissue gets a little bit thinner. And by getting thinner, it can show the underlying implant a little bit more. So the combination of all those things, ceiling implants, older silicone implants, and the breast tissue thinning out, contribute to a breast looking ripple. So how do we fix it or how do we change it or how, how do we prevent it from happening? So the first thing we do is we try to avoid saline implants, we try to do silicone implants, we try to place them under the muscle and we really like the fifth generation uh, cohesive gel implants, um, the so-called gummy bear implant. It's an implant that is filled to a higher degree so by being filled a little more, it does not create the ripple effect or it has a lesser tendency to create the ripple effect. All implants can cause ripple, rippling, but these implants cause, cause it less. Um, so using those implants is one great way we have to fight that. The second way is by using implants in the retropectoral space behind the muscle as much as possible to have the nice cushion of muscle prevent, uh, protect the implant and uh, act as a barrier between the implant and the skin so that the rippling is not seen. And the third way to do it is by keeping uh, up to date with um, breast surgery when it's needed. Sometimes, like I said before, the rippling is seen in women that have had implants for 15, 20, 25 years. So that's why after 15 years or so, a woman should go to the, to the plastic surgeon and if warranted, possibly change the implants to a better implant and perhaps do some sort of revision surgery or corrective surgery in order to make uh, the result as nice and as natural as possible.